I've never been more happy to be wrong about something. Guess it's good we got to see the prologue. So we finally have an idea about what SA's story will be. But by now, you know the drill. With every new teaser, a new theory video will be made. Today's video will contain my thoughts on what the future of Stars Align may hold. Tomorrow, Syl will entreat you with a theory of his own. But for now, let's jump into this video. I'm confident they only showed us a portion of the prologue, as there is likely going to be more shown in the actual game. But at least for now, we have the exposition. The stuff shown tells us our new setting, as well as background information. We are in a galaxy called Loom, and that from the power of the brilliance of the stars, beings called angels came to exist. The angels became very advanced civilization, until our character kind of screwed up their whole existence by falling from the sky, and they brought the stars with them. After they fell, a great darkness covered Loom, and many planets were destroyed. And I guess this is where the game picks up, in the aftermath of the protagonist's fall. Now, not a huge amount of info came from these reveals, but we can still guess what will possibly happen. For starters, we don't know if the darkness that followed the protagonist's fall was directly caused by them, or if some other force took advantage of the situation. I'm willing to bet that that's what happened, but we won't know for sure until the release. Regardless, we can assume that the protagonist blames themselves for what happened to the galaxy, and to atone for their mistake, will travel across the galaxy to get the stars. But they probably aren't the only ones holding them responsible for what happened. This is how I see Mira Mira being part of the story. In the past two teasers we have gotten for the game, they have both featured one broken, cracked planet in the background. Many, including myself, have theorized that this is Mira Mira's planet. And now, we have a reason to, as to why her home could be in such a state. She likely blames the protagonist for the entire thing, which is why she wants them dead. Of course, I'd imagine that at the end of the game, the true culprit, the Shadow Man, will be revealed to have been the one behind it all, and Mira Miller will be very shocked. Or maybe she'll just go along with it, who knows. Either way, Mira Mira is going to have some big beef with the protagonist over this incident. Mark my words. The most dangerous villains are the ones that think they are in the right. And to Mira Mira, we, we are the cause of death for her entire planet. The last thing I'd like to bring up is the masks. This isn't much of a theory as it is an open question to any Team Nova devs watching this video. The masks were kind of a huge part of the story before, but now they haven't really been mentioned once. Like seriously, since the rebrand, no one has really talked about them. I'm just curious if they've been removed from the story or something. I don't know, this, this question has just been on my mind. Anyways, that's going to be it for this one. Be sure to like and subscribe, and make sure to watch the prologue for yourself. Link in the description.